And I actually wanted to shoot this on a marble backdrop, but I just didn't have one. So I thought maybe I can make one and teach something to you guys too. So if you're interested, it is super easy to do and really, really cheap to make and very portable. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's get started and make this together. Hello, this is Amrita Bordike and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to see you all here. All the people who shoot still life, product and food photography, you know how important a backdrop is. I love my backdrops. There is one such backdrop that I've wanted for a really, really long time. And that is a marble backdrop. But I've just not been able to get one because one, it is too expensive. And second, it is too cumbersome for me to move from one place to the other, especially because the size of the backdrop that I've wanted. I almost wanted like a tabletop backdrop that is two feet by two feet at least in size or maybe a little larger too. So I'd seen this somewhere online where somebody had converted their kitchen countertop into a marble countertop just by using some kind of an adhesive foil and it looked so beautiful you couldn't even tell once they were done. And that actually gave me an idea to make my own backdrops. It was my uncle's birthday uh, a few weeks ago and I was making a cake for him and I actually wanted to shoot this on a marble backdrop but I just didn't have one. So I thought maybe I can make one and teach something to you too. So if you're interested, it is super easy to do and really, really cheap to make and very portable. Let's see what you're going to need for it. I bought this five millimeter plywood that is two feet by four feet in size. And it is very, very thin, which is exactly the reason why I bought it because I wanted it to be super light. But if you want, you can go up to a centimeter and get a thicker plywood. I have those kind of backdrops and sometimes I feel those are a little heavier. But if you are using them on a very light stand, you might as well use a heavier one because that will keep all of your stuff on place. I usually use these on a tabletop. So my table is very stable and I don't need extra stabilization in terms of the plywood to help keep everything in place. These are the two films I bought for the marble paper look. When I initially bought it, I thought it would be a lot uh, bigger width wise. But once I got it home, I thought this was going to be too small for the size that I wanted. And I honestly should have checked it because it says it's 17.72 inches wide and I have my plywood that is already 24 inches wide. So I should have bought something that was larger. But initially I had planned something a little smaller and, um, and I thought this would fit. So this didn't end up working. So I ordered another one and this, was just a vinyl film sheet that has a marble look and it is let me see the size it's some um, 24 inches actually and i wanted to keep it under budget so this is how much it cost me in the end so let's do this and we can make the marble backdrop together start with one of the corners and then start sticking it as I go along to the whole board.
So if you have noticed, the adhesive that I have bought is actually matte. So it will not reflect when I take photographs. And that is really important if you want to do flat lay images or use it for even still life photography, because you don't want that reflection coming into your image. So you can pick it up and just put it on the table and be ready to shoot without lugging a huge piece of slab of uh, marble. I love it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I, this is exactly the look that I wanted and it is so lightweight and amazing. And it took like less than 10 minutes to put together. It was so easy to do. I love it. I really love it. This is awesome. I can't wait to shoot some of my photographs on it. So let's do that. that I had a blast shooting on the new background I love it I love how it looks it gives such a cool texture and feel to my backgrounds and it is super lightweight let me know what you thought and let me know if you could utilize this in your own setup I hope you can take amazing photographs with it if you do end up using this technique and creating this backdrop make sure to tag me on instagram at amrita Pordike. i would love to see what all of you create with this hit that like button if you found this video useful or even a tiny bit entertaining subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell to be notified for all of my future videos thank you so much everyone for watching today and have an amazing amazing day Bye bye <laughs> Why not? Why not? Is that a countertop? I don't know. Um, but you know, one of those countertops. Blah, I don't know. I have no idea what it was. And here it is. Look how beautiful it looks. I love it. And it's so lightweight. You can just pick it up. Whoops. <laughs> well. You can pick it up and not smash into plants.